AITA for rejecting my friend's confession after she turned me down? I don't expect you to like or agree with what I am about to say, but it has always been the way I am and I've never lied about it. My friends have known this about me for years, and it just feels like they want me to break my principles for the sake of doing it, which feels toxic to me. I am pretty sure I am in the right, but my friends heavily disagree, so I wanted to ask for outside opinions. I've always been prideful, to what some would call a fault, but I would call the lack of pride I witnessed the same if I was being brutally honest, an asshole, so maybe we're just different people. I've had the same friend group for most of my life, we're all in our mid-twenties. I do not believe in the whole breakup or get back together. If you say you don't want me, you don't want me, end of story, we can close that book and get back to where we were, no problem, and I won't bring it up again. Six weeks ago, I finally got up the courage to ask out my best friend, someone I had feelings for for a long time before this. She wasn't interested and I accepted that right away, because why would I not? We've been friends for a long time and I didn't expect anything from her. I did distance myself for just a little bit to get over the awkwardness, but within a little over a week, it was like nothing happened, and I was glad. At least, until this last weekend, when during a sleepover with all of our friends at my place, she kissed me. No one else was paying attention, and I was kind of in shock, so I just pulled away and shook my head. I honestly figured she was plastered, and that would be the end of it. We all had been drinking a lot, and I wasn't even going to bring it up. Next morning, I wake up, and she as well as a couple of our friends are gone. The ones that were still there were really angry. No matter how I try to explain where I'm coming from, I'm apparently not understanding how hard it was for her to confess, and that she felt humiliated by my reaction. I told them that they all knew how I felt about this kind of thing, and they started talking about how it was a different situation, and that my response was heartless. Update. I promised a couple of people an update if there was one, other than me just losing almost all of my friends in one go, and to my surprise there is. Though at the same time, I'm mostly posting this for me, shouting into a void, because I feel slightly rock bottom right now, and my gut is telling me to quit my job, pack my shit, and leave the state, leave this half of the country, tbh, because life here is unsalvageable for me. I got family out west who'd let me stay for a while, and every second I consider it, it seems like a better idea. I do not view myself as an epic badass or whatever else everyone was commenting on the last post, in fact, I do understand that to many, this is a pretty fatal flaw in my personality. I have accepted that for a lot of people, that opinion is one that cuts off the possibility of friendship. It sucks, but I also don't want to change myself or force myself into uncomfortable situations just because people don't like a part of me. I am very accepting of others' views on the situation and completely agree that my own can seem rigid. I don't blame people for disagreeing. I think that plenty of people could have a wonderful relationship in that situation. I only even brought this up because it matters to the story. However, I also know that when it comes to relationships, it would not be fair to either party in a case like this. I know for a fact I would never fully know that I wasn't a backup option or that they aren't just saying yes because it's convenient now. I don't want those kinds of thoughts in my head, and I don't want to constantly feel like I have to prove I am worth it in a relationship. I have more pride or maybe, as others have said, self-respect is better wording. It isn't meant as a gotcha or to punish the other person in any way. It's because even if I still have romantic feelings, I genuinely don't think the relationship is a good idea anymore. Anyway for the actual update. After almost a full week of radio silence, she replied to my texts and asked if we could meet and talk. I asked where she wanted to meet, and she said my place, I assume for privacy which is cool. I know a lot of people were talking about her trying to set me up for crimes and stuff, but I'm not really worried about that from her. I just don't think she would. She isn't vindictive. So when she got here and we sat down, I pretty much just told her that I was so confused about everything that I didn't even know what to make of all that happened, and I asked her to tell me what happened from her point of view. There were two differences between her version and my version that I picked up on, which may well have been accurate, I was plastered, and they aren't huge differences, but at the same time, I can see how it would be embarrassing. She claims that after I pulled away, I made a face like I was grossed out. Afterward she said I shifted to be leaning away from her for the rest of the movie, and it just made it worse. I don't remember either of them, but again, drunk. Not gonna deny it, I have little control over my face when I smoke or drink, and I absolutely could have made a face without realizing it, just out of shock. I apologized for that and assured her I wasn't disgusted, just shocked as hell, and also assuming it was a drunken mistake kind of thing. Hell, we've all done stupid shit drunk, no big deal. It was only the next morning when I was bum-rushed with accusations before I even got a morning piss that I was told it was meant to be any kind of hint or whatever. She did look really embarrassed at that point and told me she hadn't thought about it that way and just thought it would be more simple than everything else. I decided, against my better judgment, to ask the question everyone here told me I needed to ask. Why did she actually reject me at first, and what caused her to change her mind? That's when things got really uncomfortable, and I could tell she didn't want to tell me, but eventually she did. Apparently, her parents are more bigoted than she or anyone else led me to believe, so in her own words, telling them we were in a relationship wouldn't be worth it, since I came out. I am NB, and she said they haven't liked me since then but stay civil for her sake. Meaning that they would just trash talk me whenever I left which is really frustrating and embarrassing considering all I've done for that fucking family over the years. She was scared that dating would push them too far and they'd cut her off from their lives. She said that she'd hoped maybe we could try dating on DL and if things got serious enough then she could. 
I pretty much just told her I had a lot to think about and asked her if I could have some time. She agreed and left, and I don't know if I'm more furious, embarrassed, or hurt. Why didn't she tell me before now they were saying that kind of shit about me? What kind of friend is that? I'm not saying she had to cut them off or stop seeing them. I totally understand weird dynamics with parents, believe me, but maybe tell me that they have an open disgust and hatred for my existence before I decide to help them with household chores and treat them like I would family. I mean, I grew up with these people. For God's sake, I thought of her mother as a better one to me than my own, not a high bar, but she was doing cartwheels 50 feet over it in my eyes. I am so sick to my stomach with grief. I'm pretty sure we aren't going to be able to be friends anymore, and it just hurts. I grew up with her, she is the first person other than my dad I came out to, and I never ever thought there would be anything she would do that I couldn't forgive her for, but making a fool out of me for years and then suggesting we date quietly so her family doesn't have to know she's with the local freak show just feels way too far. I want to forgive her, but she's not even sorry, she didn't even apologize for anything. I want to see her reasons, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, but it just hurts. I'm not sure if I wish I hadn't followed the advice or not right now, even though I know it's better to know. I am glad, at least that I will know to stop wasting time, labor, and money on people who hate me. But to know that they hate me is so painful.